What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. I've kind of been waiting on some news to happen before I made another video, uh, as I didn't want to force one, because I didn't have any ideas, but there has been no news. It's been like dead silence since I made my last video, but my fiance and I have been re-watching, well, watching for her for the first time all the way through Supernatural, and it's like my third time watching it all the way through to at least season 11, and re-watching it has gave me an idea uh, to talk about here. A, a really cool idea as it's my favorite show and I wanted to ask the question and try to answer the question in the same video of whether or not Supernatural could work in Dead by Daylight. Now it's a really weird thing and I've, I've actually I've talked to a few different people who play the game about it and the consensus has always been no but I, I think we're forgetting a big season that really takes the no and the reasons for the no and throws it out the window and really starts to make complete sense is how this could work now why do people say that supernatural couldn't work well spoilers for supernatural if you haven't watched the show it's a really good show you should watch it up until season 15 at least um sam and dean winchester are two brothers and they hunt monsters demons angels gods uh everything so the argument for no is because they are always fighting they're always killing they are always winning for the most part but i want to direct your attention to a very specific season where they did not kill a single one of the bad guys until the very last season big spoilers but season seven with the leviathans now in this season they were always on the run they could not kill the big bad and it took literally a bone from a holy woman or something to actually kill one of these things so that would be the reason that they were running and doing generators and trying to get away i think that makes a lot of sense but let's break it down and go into details for what i have here so of course for the survivors for this chapter it would be sam and dean winchester obviously the leviathan uh would be the killers and i say killers because it could be a legion type thing the leviathans um they kind of they all did the same thing they all had the same powers but there were different recognizable ones you had dick roman the leader who i think would be base for it and you had so many other characters that actually played a fairly large ro role in the show and in the season that have very memorable uh parts and episodes so i think you have a bunch of different skin potential um you could do it as like i said a legion type character they have cool power possibilities perk possibilities as well as add-ons i think it works really well now for the power i'm not really specifically theorizing on that in this video but in season eight i believe you did see in the flashbacks to purgatory them like teleporting and falling from the sky and like crashing maybe it could be something like that our first airborne-esque killer something like that uh, that's not really the point of this video it's to get the chapter concept out there now let's go for map possibilities now and there's actually a wide range there we have dick roaming skyrise office uh where it all goes down uh if i remember correctly there was like three different levels there that you could go for the main lobby uh the science department where the end of the season uh took place and you have the actual upper level where kevin was held hostage and they did that whole meeting thing yes i remember all this it's pretty fresh we've been watching it very quickly uh you also have purgatory if you wanted to go that way which would make a lot of sense for something like dead by daylight throw them into purgatory it makes sense as to why they're there it makes sense as to why they can teleport from the sky because we've seen that from the show uh it makes sense as to why dean and sam would be there because they've both been there before so they both know what it looks like or you can even go with the hospital where they were set free I'm pretty sure it was an abandoned, broken down hospital. I could be wrong there, but I'm almost positive that's what it was. And then we get into the legendary skin possibilities. Skin possibilities in general. You got Castiel, Mag, Bobby, and probably way more than that. I'm not sure about Crowley or how that would work out as he's like a demon and can like teleport, but then again, Cass is an angel and in that season could do the same thing. So I guess you could make an argument for both. Maybe uh, the entity takes their powers away or their teleporting powers, or I guess he'd have to, the entity would have to take all of their powers away to make it make sense. But I think that does make it make sense. Now, the really interesting thing that they could do with this chapter in my opinion to make it very faithful to the show and to the lore of the show and the two characters sam and dean and how they are 
hunting things, saving people, you know, they, they usually kill the monster. We could get the first survivor Mori in Dead by Daylight with this. Now, it would not be easy, and my idea for it is a little ridiculous, but not impossible. The idea that I have for it would be a full chase score, like, one person would have to do this. Whoever wants to do it would have to do all of this. So, a full chase score, all the gens gone, of course, one person can't do every gen, but they would have to at least help with one gen, but all the gens would have to be done for it to happen. One door would have to be open. Uh, the character who's wanting to do this would have to have two unhooks, maybe, and then you have to stun and blind the killer at the same time, all while playing Sam or Dean. And then you could get the survivor Mori, and it would be how uh, Dean took out Dick Roman in the show. I, I think that's really cool, I think that brings in a new gameplay mechanic, and I think it keeps it very faithful to the show. Now, Supernatural has been off air for two years now, getting close to, maybe not quite a year and a half yet, I'm not entirely sure, but it's been off for a while, uh, but Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki are still down to do things with uh, Sam and Dean Winchester. Uh, Jensen is currently doing The Winchesters, which is a prequel story on the CW currently. Uh, it's getting ready to air next month, so he's still doing things. Uh, Jared has said that he's willing to come back and do things, so it probably wouldn't be that hard to get the license, like the rights to do it, as they're giving it to Jensen with his own production company to do a show on the CW. I, I don't think it would be that difficult to do, and I think you can do it. Even if you don't do it like this, I think you can do it with different things that stay outside of Christianity and Norse mythology and, you know, Roman and Greek mythology. You don't have to bring gods in. Leviathans are technically just monsters, and it wouldn't be the first just monster we've had in the game. The Dredge is a monster, so that would also help and make it make sense. Maybe you couldn't have had this argument before the Dredge, but I think you can now. But that's kind of like my idea for a supernatural chapter it's one of my favorite it, actually i think it is my favorite tv show or piece of media ever really uh it, it's kind of a meme because they say it in the show in an episode that we literally just watched but supernatural has everything everything you could want in a story especially if you're a horror fan and i think that does translate very well to a video game uh it's been memed in the show before as well but i think it personally fits an rpg <laughs> but you could definitely make it work in dead by daylight and i think dead by daylight is probably if they didn't want to make their own game probably the best video game to put it into. I think that it would be a big miss if we got this collection and the celebration of horror and we don't add one of the longest running horror TV shows ever made uh, with 15 seasons to this game. I, I think that would be a travesty. But that is my opinion that is my thoughts on a supernatural chapter i'd love to hear what you guys have uh to say about this do you have any other ideas for monsters or killers uh maybe i mean if you think gods could work give me your ideas skins perks powers add-ons everything let me know in the comments down below do you have an idea uh to make the survivor mori better more difficult but more fair let me know in the comments down below very interested to hear what you guys have to say but that's going to do it for me dudes thank you all so much for watching my name is Tootin. i've been your host i'll see you dudes on the next one peace out